This presentation will review the basics of population carrier screening for common autosomal recessive conditions. Autosomal recessive conditions are caused by changes in instructions contained in single genes. Chromosomes carry thousands of individual genetic instructions. We could think of chromosomes as being like a set of books on a shelf. Each chromosome is a separate book, and the individual genes are like sentences, paragraphs, and chapters within each book. If there's a change in a sentence within that chapter, it may change the way it is read and interpreted. Some of these changes in single genes can cause changes in fetal development and for an individual later in life. Most people have two copies of each individual gene. They receive one copy from each parent. For an individual who is affected by a recessive condition, both copies of her genetic instruction are changed in a way that causes it to work differently in the body. Most often this happens because each of her parents has one copy of the instruction that's working the way we expect and another that is changed and works differently. These parents are called carriers. Two parents who are both carriers of the same autosomal recessive condition may both pass the change instruction to the same child who will have the condition. It is also possible that one parent passes on the change and the other parent does not or that both parents pass on the instructions that are not changed. For two parents who are carriers of the same genetic condition, they have a 1 in 4 or 25% chance that any child they have together will be affected by the recessive condition. They have a 1 in 2 or 50% chance that any child they have together will be carriers just like them, or a 1 in 4 or 25% chance that any of their children together will not be affected affected with or a carrier of the recessive condition. This process occurs randomly in every pregnancy. Two parents who are carriers of the same condition may have three children together that are all affected with the recessive condition, or they may have four children together, none of them have the condition. Carrier screening for autosomal recessive conditions is typically offered based on a patient's ethnic background or family history. These conditions have been identified to be more common in different areas of the world. This table lists some of the most common autosomal recessive conditions and their corresponding ethnic groups who have the highest chance to be carriers. However, these conditions are not exclusive to these groups. Family history should also be considered. Please let your provider know if someone in your family to whom you are blood related is affected by one of these conditions, even if you're not from an area of the world where it's most common. The third column also lists how effective general testing is for each group. Testing is typically most effective for individuals who have the highest chance to be a carrier of the condition. This table provides a brief description of each of the most common autosomal recessive conditions including the age when it typically occurs, what effects it has on development, and whether or not it leads to a shortened life as a result. Addresses to websites that provide more detailed information about these conditions are listed at the end of this presentation on the resources page. Carrier screening can be performed while you are pregnant or not, and does not need to be repeated in every pregnancy. If you have not been tested previously, Carrier screening should be offered to you by your regular OB provider at your new OB visit. It is typically offered to the pregnant patient based on her ethnic background or family history. However, if her partner has a different ethnic background and is more likely to be a carrier for a different genetic condition for which testing is more effective for him, the male partner can also be screened. When a carrier screen result is negative, indicating none of the most common changes were found, it significantly reduces the chances of that person being a carrier. However, most carrier screening is not 100% effective at finding all of the genetic changes responsible for that particular condition. There's still a small chance a person may be a carrier even if his or her screening was negative. If one parent is identified to be a carrier of a common recessive genetic condition, then screening for the same condition is offered to the other parent. When both parents are identified to be carriers of the same recessive condition and have a 1 in 4 chance that any child they have together will be affected by that condition, they will be offered prenatal diagnostic testing for the condition, such as CVS or amniocentesis. 
This is optional testing. Parents may also choose to wait until after the child is born to consider any further testing. Testing for sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis are included as part of routine newborn screening. Other conditions may be tested further by a separate blood draw by request after birth. If you are interested in getting more detailed information about some of the conditions discussed in this presentation, you may visit any of the web links listed here for organizations that provide additional information about specific conditions, as well as support for families with a new diagnosis of those conditions. The Walter Reed OB Prenatal Genetic Testing and Counseling webpage also lists these conditions on the lower right.